Hi team, I'm excited to walk you through a quick 5 minute demo of Swim Wishlist Plus. Let's jump right in how shoppers experience wishlist on collections and product pages. On collections, the add to wishlist icon is seen in the product grid where shoppers can add products to wishlist directly while browsing. The add to wishlist button is also available inside the product page. Wishlist launch points. The launch points for a wishlist is available in three designs, a header icon, a floating icon, or a navigation menu item. As for wishlist layouts, we have three variations again, a slide-in drawer, a pop-up, or a separate page with its own URL. Save for later from cart. When a shopper goes to delete an item from cart, a pop-up is shown that prompts them to save it for later instead. Smart save. If a shopper visits a product over and over again, Smart save considers this repeat visit behavior as high intent and automatically saves it in their wishlist for easy access. However, the shoppers can still undo this action at any time. Wishlist in customer accounts. Wishlist Plus provides smart containers inside customer accounts so that shoppers can easily find their wishlisted items, recently viewed items, at a centralized place. These extensions are available as app blocks or a dedicated page within the logged in accounts. Setting up Wishlist Plus from Shopify admin during onboarding. During onboarding, we pre configure the best possible setup for the merchant. This includes the wishlist button on the product page, collections, save for later pop up on cart, smart save, wishlist layout, wishlist launch point, and other features like wishlist sharing. Merchants can easily configure them in the configuration panel. They can add a wishlist count badge, configure the button type, position of the button on the product page, collections, the wishlist page layout, the launch point style between different styles as per their branding to truly create a brand native experience. They can also configure the save for later pop up and customize it entirely. Even the most basic design needs like wishlist icon or wishlist colors can be customized here. Setting up Wishlist Plus from Shopify admin after onboarding. After onboarding is complete, merchants can access this configuration panel via the homepage and make changes as needed. We have a brand new insights dashboard that shows the performance of the wishlist on the live store. For example, how many shoppers have wishlisted which products? How much revenue has the wishlist driven, etc. Coming to setting up wishlist in customer accounts. To add these extensions, we need to go to the Shopify theme editor and make sure we are in the checkout and account section. Here, we can add the wishlist page. The wishlist page is a dedicated customer activities page where shoppers can view their wishlisted items recently viewed products, saved for later products, etc. It is a very easy to set up mechanism. Just make sure to add this page to the navigation menu of accounts for easy access. Apart from this page, you can also add wish lists to orders, profile or order status pages as product recommendations. Setting up multiple wishlist, wishlist sharing, smart save, alerts, etc. Go to settings to turn on multiple wishlist and wishlist sharing feature. You can also configure smart save from here. Define how many times a shopper should visit for it to be automatically saved to their wishlist. If you are on a paid plan, 
you can configure wishlist reminders, alerts for price drops, back in stock, and low stock for wishlist items from here. Integrating Wishlist Plus with other apps. Brands can now easily integrate with their email service providers and other apps from Shopify admin if they are on a paid plan of Wishlist Plus. That's it for this video. Thank you.